In this video, we will learn how to derive Marshallian demand function from the given indirect utility function using Roy's identity. The question is, given indirect utility function is, that is V is a function of uh, price of good 1, price of good 2 and income, which is equal to M bracket alpha uh, upon P a whole raised power alpha times 1 minus alpha upon P2 raised power 1 minus alpha. Find Marshallian demand function for good x1 and x2. We will be applying the Roy's identity. Okay. So to get the Marshallian demand function, there are two ways. First is uh, we can also maximize uh, utility of x1, x2. Okay. Uh, and forming the budget constraint that is uh, p1 into x1 plus p2 into x2 is equal to m. Okay. What I want to say is that. Uh, to find out, uh, you know, the Marshall and demand function, we can use uh, this maximization, uh, you, you know, setup uh, and form the Lagrange's, uh, you know, function and take the partial derivatives and solve for to get the Marshall and demand function. But another shortcut way is to use the Roy's identity. That is, and let me write it here. If we are being given the indirect utility function, okay, we can directly extract the Marshallian demand function from this by applying rise identity okay by applying rise identity okay so this is the first uh, you, you know method of solving this uh, kind of question uh, using the maximization problem second is we can directly apply the rise identity okay and the formula is pretty simple and let me write it here here or let's uh, first uh, rewrite this indirect utility function in this fashion that is v is a function of p1 p2 and income which is equal to if i solve this so we have m i can write alpha raised power alpha transposing it uh, to the numerator it will become p1 raised power minus alpha then we have 1 minus alpha uh, raised power 1 minus alpha then we have p2 if i transpose it uh, to the numerator the x uh, okay exponent sign will get changes it will become alpha minus one okay so i have just uh, you know rewritten this indirect utility function now rise identity uh, says us to find the marshall and demand function for good x1 what we need to do we need to find a ratio that is uh, we have the minus from the formula we should take the partial derivative of indirect utility function with respect to p1 and divided by uh, the partial derivative of indirect utility function with respect to income okay so uh, you know getting the uh, getting this ratio will give us the marshallian demand function so what we have here so dv upon dp one means taking you know the partial derivative of this indirect utility function with respect to p1 okay so p1 is here the derivative of uh, p1 raised power minus alpha is simply minus alpha first we have the minus from the formula then the derivative of p raised power minus alpha will be you know minus alpha and let me write it here uh, minus alpha we have m alpha raised power alpha p1 minus alpha minus 1 by power function root since we have P raised power minus alpha, its derivative will be minus alpha P raised power minus alpha minus 1. That is what I have written here. And other thing is, uh, since we are taking the partial derivative with respect to P1, so we have to do nothing with other parameters here. We have 1 minus alpha as it is, raised power 1 minus alpha P2 alpha minus 1. Okay, this is the partial derivative of indirect utility function with respect to P1. And we divide it by the partial derivative of indirect utility function with respect to income. So the derivative of m will be 1. So we will be left out with this uh, whole uh, you know, term that is alpha raised power alpha p1 raised power minus alpha 1 minus alpha raised power 1 minus alpha p2 alpha minus 1. Okay. Now here you can see some terms will get cancelled out here. So P1 raised power alpha gets cancelled with this. 1 minus alpha with this. Alpha raised power alpha 
gets cancelled with this. So we are minus 2 minus is plus, so we get here alpha m, we have then p1 minus alpha minus 1. If I transpose it, uh, this p1 raised power minus alpha, it will become p1 raised power plus alpha, solving it again. So we will get alpha m p1, so minus alpha minus 1 plus alpha, so we will be left with minus 1. Okay, this are same, we can add up the exponents. So uh, I can write it in this fashion, alpha times m raised power uh, divided by p1. Okay, so this is our Marshallian demand function, uh, you know, of good x1. Symmetrically, we can find out the Marshallian demand function uh, with respect to good x2, and that will be equal to uh, minus, okay, uh, times the derivative of indirect utility function with respect to p2 divided by the derivative of indirect utility function with respect to income. Okay, now this time we take the derivative of this indirect utility function with respect to p2. So p2 is here. Now by power function rule, this alpha minus 1 will become coefficient. So we have alpha minus 1. Other terms will remain same. We have m alpha raised power alpha p1 raised power minus alpha 1 minus alpha raised power 1 minus alpha we have p2 alpha minus 1 minus 1 by power function rule okay and we divide it with so here we have minus uh, with the derivative of indirect utility function with respect to income so um, again the derivative of m will be 1 we will be left with other terms that is alpha raised power alpha p1 raised power minus alpha 1 minus alpha raised power 1 minus alpha p2 alpha minus 1 okay so let us see if some terms get cancelled out this will get cancelled with this this with this this gets cancelled with this so we are left with uh, you know we have here minus from the formula we got here so we have alpha minus 1 okay so let's write it here minus uh, alpha minus 1 alpha minus 1 then we are left with m here we have p2 alpha minus 2 in the you know denominator we have p2 if i transpose it it will get you know reciprocated so we will get p2 um, 1 minus alpha okay so this will give us as, uh, let's write it here minus alpha minus 1 we have m here bases are same we can add up the exponents so we have p2 alpha minus 2 plus alpha minus alpha okay so uh, plus alpha minus alpha gets cancelled minus 2 plus 1 is 1 so we will be left with minus alpha I know so we have minus alpha minus 1 m p2 raised power minus alpha you know minus one here so i can write it in this fashion one minus alpha if i multiply this minus uh, with alpha minus one divided by p2 that will be the marshall and demand function for good two okay so this is how do we apply the roy's identity in extracting Marshall and demand function from the given indirect utility function simply what we do we simply to find the uh, you know the Marshall Marshall and demand function for good x1 we take the partial derivative of indirect utility function with respect to p1 and divide it with the partial derivative of uh, you know indirect utility function with respect to income and uh, okay we have this minus sign here solving this out will give us the Marshall and demand function bar good x1 and by the same logic to find the you know Marshall and demand function for good x2 we simply uh, take the negative 
or we write minus in uh, take this ratio that is uh, the ratio of uh, indirect utility function with respect to p2 divided by the partial derivative of indirect utility function with respect to income solving this will give us the marginal demand function part good x2 i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you